Windsor, Ontario. Okay. Our company is, C is CGS North America. Okay. We're a subsidiary of CGS Japan. Oh, right. So close to us there. Yes. So Are you using SolidWorks? Yes. So we, we have we have a product called Cam Tool, which is the standalone cam system, and the cam engine was introduced into SolidWorks in April 2010. Sorry, I saw this last night. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, tell me a few things about this thing. This is just, this is nothing important in terms of detail. It's an experiment or a proof of the accuracy of the software. Because the pins are only four thousandths at the top. Four thousandths at the top, okay. And everything is machined. Everything is machined. There's a video of the machining going on there with our videos. I'm not sure what stage it's at. Yeah. It's machined with one tool path called Z-level roughing. It's it's machined at each level and there's an additional path added that typically is used for a spring cut to straight not the cutter straighten out, but they're actually finishing it with it. Okay. So go ahead. The key is the key is that we're not using a triangulation mesh. We're using exactly on the surface tool path. And all CAM software before 1990 was that way. But it took too long to calculate. So work and see went to the triangulation mesh idea. They, are, they approximate the geometry, found a way to calculate faster. But now you give up accuracy. Mm -hmm. You give up, you give up you know, the non-polished situation. So you wouldn't be able to do something like that in that you with that approach? No. Because it, because their triangulation mesh maybe has four tenths of, of, an, of an inch error. Mm -hmm. So they'd be banging the pins, they'd be knocking them over. What kind of cutter would you use for this? What? How, how small is the smallest cutter that you use for that? They only use one cutter. Only one cutter? Yeah. For the whole thing? The picture, yeah. It's uh, eight, well they use two gut cutters actually. It's a four millimeter, four millimeter diameter. And an eight flat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the eight flat was is for because the tool pass so perfect, we can use smaller tools, smaller diameters. Because they're not bouncing around, they last longer. They're easier on the machine spindle. We have one customer that says they get a six times tool life cutting electrodes, cutting graphite electrodes with our software. I'm not saying that everybody gets that, but I know everybody gets at least two times tool life. So it's mostly about precision, not necessarily speed. You're concentrating on precision. Well, the, the speed is going to it's going to be equal. It's what it's what the tool can handle, but. The key to the software on top of all the accuracy is they made sure that when it goes into a corner, it doesn't get overloaded. Mm -hmm. uh, my thing is that if you hear a machine go, eh, that means the tool's overloaded. Okay. This works itself in so that never happens. Okay. So that those are all, you know, those are all the focus in the sense of, of how we got this. And you can take take this tool, a tool path that finishes and look at the tool, it's like brand new. It's not all chewed up. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome.